All right, I'm still bothered by the length of the bow. The picture that I'm going by is of a reproduction of a bow case from that period. I'm trying to get it in camera here. There we go. And uh, I think it's a bit long because horseback bows would have been shorter because of being on horseback. So I'm going to make this a little shorter. Time to play with some clay. I'm just going to cut it off. There's still an armature in there. And all I have to do is slip it off. I'm going to take a flame and just heat that end just a little so I can slip this back on. That works out a lot better. Looks a lot better. And I'll just uh, fill in the little dent that I made. You know, with a little clay. Voila. It's done. Now it's not going to be bothering me. It's best to take care of things when they bother you. I think what was bothering me before was not the length of the boat case, but it was just the thickness of the boat case. Before I put the uh, ermine on, I'm going to fix his face up just a little bit. trying to reflect the wind blowing Alright, I'm going to paint it. 
to look like the clay. I'm going to put the first bit of fringe on the bottom of the uh, beadwork. It'll be underneath the uh, strap. And this will be the fringe along the outer edge of the uh, beadwork. Now I just got to figure out how to make this flow on his uh, shirt. Keeping in mind that the wind will have a little bit of an effect on it. The leather is a little heavy. So it may move it, but it won't move it a lot. And I'm starting at the bottom and working up because it just works better that way. All right, I'm going to paint this again. I mean, not again, but I'm going to paint it for that now instead of waiting until I get everything done because I want to see if this is going to look good. And if it doesn't, then we'll have to figure something else out. All right, I'm going to paint the fringe I just did. All right, that's going to be it for today. I like the way the fringe turned out. It looks good. Uh, removing the uh, shield and the, and the uh, spear really helped, being a, uh, helped me to be able to uh, get back in the areas that I should have gotten into before I put them on. <laughs> anyway, 
the warrior is pretty much done. I've got other things I want to do with it, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've still got to finish this forearm sleeve. <coughs> and then I'll start uh, working on the horse. All right, that's going to be it for today. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I think it turned out okay. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.